In today's video, I'm going to walk you step by step with how to create a communications plan using Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint so that you can lead and manage your projects more effectively. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alvin and I'm here to help you become certified in project management. Before we get started, make sure to stay until the end of today's video to download my template for the communications plan that we'll be creating using Excel and PowerPoint in today's video. Now, we all know how important communication is on a project, especially if you're leading a global team across the entire country of more than 20 stakeholders. Using the formula for communication channels of n multiplied by n minus 1 divided by 2, where n is the number of stakeholders involved in the project, what you can see is that there would be 190 communication channels for all 20 stakeholders involved on this example project. And what we can also see is that this number is actually a lot of communication channels that you'll be facilitating, especially as a project manager. Now here's what I want you to think about. Here's a quick question for you. Think about your own experience with leading real world projects and the number of people that's involved on your projects. How much time do you actually spend planning and managing communication with your team? Have you ever forgotten to include someone on a meeting invite, an email, or an important discussion when you're making decisions and reviewing critical milestones? Now what happened? Did that stakeholder ever come back to you and say, please be sure to involve me in these types of discussions throughout your project, or please involve me in these discussions because my team will be severely impacted by this? If you said yes to any of these questions, then you've seen firsthand how important communication can be on a project. Remember that communication takes up at least 90% of a project manager's role. Communicating with stakeholders is not just sending emails, calling your team members, or instant messaging them on Microsoft Teams. It's so much more than that, and it does not just involve status reports. There's actually more to it than just sending an email or posting a monthly report to leadership. And this is why it's so very important to develop a robust communication management plan at the very beginning of your project. At a minimum, your communication management plan should address the following what information needs to be communicated. If you don't know what kind of information that you'll communicate, how will you let key stakeholders know that your project is nearing completion and that the team is experiencing some kind of issues or major roadblocks? The second important factor to consider is why is this information important? With so many stakeholders on your project, you need to make sure that you're sending out the correct information to your stakeholders. The next factor is who is the target audience to whom you plan on delivering your communication. This is important because you have to make sure that you're delivering the communication to the correct people. Number four, what is the best way to communicate this information? In other words, what is the medium and the format that you'll be using? Now this could be electronic reports, forms, or through in-person discussions. Number five, who will be responsible for distributing this communication? In other words, who will be the owner who will send out this project communication? And lastly, when and what will the communication frequency be? Will it be every single day, every other week, or on a monthly basis? If you have trouble remembering these kinds of questions to ask when you're developing your plan, just remember my 3C rule. Your goal as a project manager is to communicate the correct information to the correct people at the correct time. Now let's hop on over to Microsoft Excel and we'll create this communication plan step by step. To create this in Excel, first start with a blank spreadsheet and begin filling each of the columns with the information that we discussed previously. Let's start with the first row and label them with the following. Communication, purpose, audience, owner, the method of communication, and the frequency. In column A, under communication, most communications will typically use one of the following, and of course you'll need to tailor this as you best see fit for your projects. So the first one would be project kickoff meeting, a project status report, change review board, also known as a CRB, team meetings, external supplier updates, note that this could be with external stakeholders as well, a steering committee, and a project daily standup. 
Let's format the table so that it's more professional looking. Press Ctrl plus A to highlight all cells within your table, and then press Ctrl plus T to create your table within Microsoft Excel. Afterwards, go to the top where it says Table Design, go to the panel for Table Styles, and then select the option for this one so it has a black and gray alternating pattern. To format the text in each of your cells, highlight each of your columns. Go to the Home tab, and then under the Alignment panel, select the Center Alignment button, Middle Align, and then the button for Wrap Text. This will make sure that all of your text wraps around in each cell and is aligned in the middle. Now that we've formatted our entire table, let's start by filling out the information for each communication type. Starting with the project kickoff, the purpose is primarily to initiate the project with the team, share with everyone the project's goals and objectives, and to obtain alignment with key stakeholders and of course your leadership team. The target audience in this case should involve your project sponsor, the team, key stakeholders, and leadership. The person in charge of communicating this kickoff will likely be the project manager, and it will be conducted either through an in-person meeting or virtually through Microsoft Teams. And since it's the kickoff, it will take place only once during the project's life cycle. Moving on to the next one, the project status report is used to communicate the project's progress, issues, and any risks, and it's intended to be delivered to all project stakeholders. The owner of this communication would be the project manager delivered on a bi-weekly basis using a report. For the next one, the Change Review Board reviews new project requests and project changes, especially those that impact the project scope, schedule, and cost baselines. This would be communicated to leadership, specifically the ones involved in the Change Request Board and owned by the project manager. Communications would be delivered through Change Request Forms on a monthly basis. For all of these communications, you need to align with your stakeholders and leadership to make sure that the method of communication and the frequency is best serving their need and expectations. Keep in mind that you will have to tailor this to your own project and this is not meant to be a one-size-fits-all template. Fill out the rest of the communications plan in the same way by asking yourself these same questions. And once you're done, here's an example of what your final communications plan should look like with an Excel. For creating this within Microsoft PowerPoint, I recommend copying and pasting your table into PowerPoint as I'm showing on the screen here. Right click your mouse and a new menu will appear. Select the second button to the left which states keep source formatting. Your table will then be pasted into PowerPoint. Now all that's left for you to do is to readjust it using the bottom right corner. And lastly, let's finish the slide by going to the top insert menu click on text box and let's insert a text which states project communication plan. After you bold it and you position it into the center, your final slide should look like the following. And there you have it. Once you do it in this way, it'll be very professional looking and you can present this during your project team meetings and status updates to management and leadership. To download your free copy of this exact communication plan template, head on over to alvinthepm.com forward slash communication plan. So I hope this video helped you create your project communication plan because honestly, it's one of the most important aspects of leading a team and managing your projects. If you like this video and if you'd like to see more tutorials within project management, subscribe to my channel, share this with a friend, and smash that like button and give this video a huge thumbs up. To see how to create a work breakdown structure using Microsoft Word and PowerPoint, be sure to check out the video showing up on the screen over here. Until next time, I'm Melvin, helping you become certified in project management, and I'll see you in the next video.